Hey guys, 66 Gamer here. Welcome to War Thunder. Uh, my first day, finally managed to register. The open beta just started a couple days ago, and for some reason, I couldn't get the open registration to work. I don't know, I, every time I click go to registration, the page would never load, but today I finally got in. And as you can see, this game is far better looking than World of Tanks. Um, and this is much more... I've been playing simulator battles. Um, you can see here we have Arcade, which has like name placards over tanks, and it's, it's more like World of Tanks. Um, <clears throat> it's simplified physics and there's more UI help you know like I said there's if you spot a tank you'll see their name and stuff like that um, realistic starts to strip away some of the helpful stuff and then simulator battles like you can't even zoom out in third person the only two views you have are through your gun sight and what's like the commander's view which is right on top of the turret and you basically look where your turret points like you'll see when we get in there um, but look at that beautiful model I mean obviously you know it's not triple A you know uh, but for a free online MMO, uh, where you're not really looking at your tank that much, this is awesome. It's way better than World of Tanks, graphically. Um, but it plays very different than World of Tanks, in simulator mode at least. That's all I've been playing. That's probably all I may ever play. I don't see myself going to arcade, uh, maybe dropping down to realistic if there's just more people there. Um, but I'm still figuring out, uh, you know, gold's different. They're called Golden Eagles. You get some free ones as you first get into the beta and do some stuff. Um, then there's Silver Lions, which is your main currency, which is just like silver and World of Tanks. Um, you have this Convertible Research, otherwise known as Free XP in World of Tanks. I don't know which game came first, I'm assuming World of Tanks did, uh, because this is still a beta, even though the airplane part's been out for a long time. Um, oh wow, a bunch of new messages, what is all this stuff? I haven't even looked at this stuff. Oh, it's just a bunch of automated messages from the system. Um, chat, friends my profile and the research is a little weird I'm still trying to figure out how it works it doesn't seem I don't know it's kinda strange um, let's get it just go ahead and get into a battle and then we'll deal with that as this is an open beta and people are still apparently everybody wants to be a German um, as you see here in the queue it's it's all Germans all the time pretty much <laughs> Uh, right now in the Ground Thunder open beta, there's only Russians and Germans. There's no British tanks, no American tanks, and no Japanese tanks. Uh, so I'm sure those will get introduced shortly or very soon. But right now everybody wants to be a German. And I'm not sure if this queue is for simulator battles or everybody in queue I don't know the wait times are kind of long um, you know world of tanks you wait maybe a minute maybe uh, but um, the player base is huge for world of tanks right now this is an open beta game um, and most people that play war thunder are playing it for the airplanes not the tanks yet so you're gonna wait you know you can kind of sit here and wait on the battle to start um, and probably even more so because I'm doing simulator and not arcade. There's probably more people wanting to do arcade battles because it's more similar to World of Tanks, I would imagine. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's while we're waiting. So you have tech trees, um, 
you start out in a T26, you actually have to unlock the other um, starter tanks. Uh, the T60, which only goes as far as the T80, which I guess are the light scout tank line. Uh, the BT-7 I just unlocked. I haven't played it yet. That's how you get your badass T-34s, T-34 line. Um, and, oh, they do have T-54s. Wow, that's going to be awesome. That's Tier 5. Oh, here we go. This game is beautiful. You see the maps. I think they're supposed to be based on historical. There is Kursk, which is awesome. Um, right now there are AI vehicles in these battles. Um, I don't know if that will be permanent thing once you know maybe if they start getting enough players they'll remove them. I don't know but so up here you can click to battle up here to battle to battle down there and right now you can respawn up to like three times or maybe only twice for me now. I know in the starter tank, uh, you can respawn like three times. And there's some AI. I believe, yeah, those are AI tanks right there. Some T26s. So this is what I mean by your commander's view. Basically, uh, you can look over the top of your turret and that's it. Um, and I haven't figured out how to free look if you can free look. Now, uh, if you kind of glance down at the map, you see blues friendly, obviously. And we have, it looks like, two spawn points. And then a capture point close to our side. And they have a capture point close to their side. And I've played this map at least twice. So, I know there's some high ground. There's the, actually, oh, I'm right next to the capture point. And look how slow the turrets turn, man. They turn slow. Oh, somebody got the first strike. Try not to get instant killed because unlike World of Tanks, um, getting insta-popped in this game is fairly easy. You know, somebody just gets one good hit on you. Especially when you're first starting out, because none of the tanks have, like, any armor at all. Oh, he's shooting something. Oh. And my gun elevation... That sucks. I can't actually get down to shoot. This is terrible. Crap. Uh, you can zoom in, and then you see all your windage and elevation markers, which you will have to learn to use. Um, because you just do. Uh, you have to Kentucky windage your shots in this game, which basically means you have to manually compensate. Oh, oh bad guy, bad guy. Okay, so he's knocked out. Oh, is that a... Oh, shit. Is that not a bad guy right, right in front of us? Yeah. Wow. Uh, the AIs are kind of stupid, so... Sometimes you'll get enemy tanks... 
like right in front of you. Shit. Reverse speed is pretty important because your turrets turn so slow you have to learn to traverse with your turret. Oh crap. He's still alive. On target. Ah, I killed a player. Awesome. But uh, there's no artificial distance, uh, view distance, which is terrific. I love it. So if you see somebody far away and you can manually adjust your gun sights enough, then, you know, you can hit them. But like I said, it's, it's going to take multiple shots. On fire? And I'm, I'm probably gonna burn to death. Uh, yep. My gun's apparently jacked up. Um, I'm gonna burn to death. I have not uh, researched spare parts in this tank. So, apparently I cannot repair myself yet. So that sucks pretty hard. <laughs> Especially because I'm out in the open. Um, yeah, this is pretty bad. Oh shit! It's a stug! And. Oh, my. Everybody's wounded. I can't fire. He's not pinning me. Shit! Jacking my ass up, and I can't do anything about it. Yeah, that sucked. Oh man. So I can go one more time, I think. But you see, the game's beautiful. Uh, in simulator mode, it's a lot harder to see your enemies. And, you know, the, the, uh, it's not, there's no hit point pull. You can't just sit there and slug it out with another tank because you know you have more hit points than them and, you know, they, oh, their gun doesn't do that much damage. Now, in this game, if they get a pin, they're either going to damage a critical module or they're going to kill crew members or stun them like what just happened to me. And you're just gonna be dead in the water, and then they're gonna blow you up. You know, it's uh, this is a lot more realistic, which I fully enjoy. Wow, that sucks.
Um, and it's a lot faster to turn if you're just, tr uh, what do you call it, neutral, neutral braking? No, what's it called? Um, where you're not trying to go forward or backward, you're just spinning, basically. It's a lot easier to turn like that. Now, I think we've pushed pretty far up. Yeah, because we're capturing... We were all over their capture point. Now, if they're if we capture both points, their little red bar is going to start to go down pretty fast. And if they don't uh, secure a capture point before the bar goes down, they lose. Or so I believe that's how it works. Yeah. See, now it's going to start going down. Um, there's a lot of terrain, uh, there's, you know, foliage, fo foliage, foliage, however you want to, whatever. Um, you know, concealment means a lot more in this game than it does in World of Tanks, because there's no artificial view distance, so they got a clear line of sight to you from 500 meters, you know, than they do. But they have to have the skill to be able to get their shots in on you from 500 meters, and that can take some time. So what all did I do? Okay, I got... Uh, oh, see, now this pops up. Congratulations, you've completed your research. And I'm like, well, what the hell are you guys talking about? All right, so I got parts unlocked. Now I have to buy them. So now hopefully I can repair my T28. Okay, it says choose your new research. You can change your decision later. Um... And it says I have 768, so I could get a couple of these. Um, let's go ahead and get that fire, fire prevention. You have researched all modifications in the tier. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Um, gun calibration. Yeah, let's do that. So now I have 228 points to put towards another thing, and let's do let's filters. Let's do suspension. Oh, you have unpurchased and unlocked a uh, country in the air airplanes mode. Mission accomplished, 6,800 silver lions. Well, that's pretty dang good, right? Um, now, just like World of Tanks says, well, if you had a premium account, you would have gotten an ass load more freaking research and credits. <laughs> a buttload. But well, let's see, I destroyed three surface units. I got one assist. I had 10 hits. Doesn't show me shots fired. Um, hopefully, I, I'd like a little more detailed statistics. That'd be great. So, I died once. I got an enemy kill assist. I killed two computers, AIs, and one player. And I got my score was a 1,000. So, not a great game. But, hey, you know, we won. Contributed. Killed a player. That's cool. So this is War Thunder. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I can't wait to get a KV-1. That's going to be freaking badass. Alright guys, see you later.